morning everyone. Today what I thought I'd do is combine receiving my first ever watch with collecting my new long-term loaner daily driver. Now most of you would have seen I've been wearing this watch in my videos over the last months and up till now that was actually a prototype that wasn't mine and I do realize that everyone's not going to be interested about the whole watch thing so if you're really not interested in the whole watch scene whatsoever that's fine you can skip forward to the car part but I have had a lot of comments about this watch over the last months, especially on the last video when I put it in the video a little bit more. And the reason I've only been wearing this watch and not talking about it up until now was because I wanted to wait till everything was nice and official, which it is as of today. I am now an official brand ambassador for the watch brand Jaeger Lecotte, which is a huge honor. As far as I know, I'm the first ever YouTuber to be a brand ambassador for that brand. So obviously that's something that I'm hugely proud of and I wanted to share with you. For me it's really exciting and of course also explain why I'm wearing such a nice watch because obviously to wear such an incredible timepiece is not something that you get to do every day. So I wanted to explain to you how I got this watch and why I have it. Now I do realize I am a car channel. I'm not gonna talk about the watch too much but I just wanted to explain it to you all quickly and I know a few of you are definitely interested about this. So how I came about being a brand ambassador for this company was around half a year ago, they invited me to join a classic car event. And while I was there, the event was amazing. The cars were incredible but I got along with the people that work for Jaeger Lecord so well. A few of them have already become friends for life and they also really liked my videos, which of course I was really happy about. And now half a year down the line, we have now agreed on a deal where I'm a brand ambassador and part of that deal was I got to choose my very own watch. And this is the watch I chose. This is the Master Compressor Chronograph Ceramic and it is just absolutely stunning. I think most of you already know I'm not a particularly flashy guy. So when it came to me choosing a watch, I wanted something that was really classy but looked really cool. And this is exactly what it is. It's in matte black with a touch of pink gold and it's just, I, for me, it's the nicest watch I've ever seen. I'm completely in love with it. To me, this is way more than a watch. It's not about just wearing a really nice expensive watch on my wrist. It's the story behind it and it's what it means of a sense of achievement that how hard I've worked over the last year on my videos and everything that such a big brand wants to be a part of what I do is really just such a great feeling. Now this might not bring me any money. Of course, it brought me a really nice watch, which I'll keep forever. But what it does bring me is being part of a brand where I get to join some really cool events. Jaeger go way back in the car industry as well and they're gonna be doing some car events later this year where I'll get to join, of course, make exciting content for you guys and for myself. So yeah, there we go. That's the story to why I have this watch and now being a brand ambassador for this brand. I'm not gonna talk any more about the watch now. If you wanna go and see more about it or read more about it, I'm gonna put some more details below. But for now, we need to go and pick up my new daily driver. limited edition red Ford Focus RS and I'm just so happy with this car. Now the majority of you will already know my last daily driver was actually a Ford Focus RS in blue that Ford Switzerland also gave to me. I had that all last summer and I honestly loved every single day with it. Now I gave that car back at the end of last year and I honestly wasn't expecting to get another one. And when they first told me it was in red, I honestly wasn't too sure about it. But now after seeing it in the flesh, the red looks so good on this. Really, really does. Suits the car perfectly, especially with all the black parts and the black wheels and the black spoiler. The contrast looks perfect. I always wish they would make a Ford Focus RS500 version of this model but unfortunately they've not made one yet, maybe in the future. So I will be making quite a few videos with this car. Another one will be 
going really into detail about the car, what I like about it, what I don't like, but I'm gonna wait for it to snow to do that because driving this in the snow is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait, but today it is raining, which really, really sucks. It actually shouldn't be raining at the moment, not up here. I don't know quite what's going on, but I'm sure it's gonna snow again very soon. So this 2018 limited edition model does have a couple of changes. The first obvious one being the color. And the second big change is it now has a limited slip diff on the front. So for drifting, this should be really, really good. I did briefly try and drift the last one on a track and it was really, really good. So if this is gonna be even better than the last one, I'm sure it's gonna be massive amounts of fun. I will definitely make a video about drifting this car. I just need to find a place that I can do it first. I'm gonna get in touch with some tracks and hopefully make that video in the next months. One thing I'm a bit confused about though is if you do look up the Ford Focus 2018 limited edition red model on the internet, it says that on the interior you should have some extra carbon bits. This doesn't have it and on the roof should be matte black. This also doesn't have that. So my only thinking behind that is those little extras are only for the US market. I'm not sure, but I'm a bit confused about why this one doesn't have it. These cracks and pops, I can never get enough of. How cool does that sound? One thing I could never really get over on this car was the sound it makes, considering it is a four cylinder, two liter turbo engine. The way they've made this sound is unbelievable. So when I got offered to take one of these, I was really just completely over the moon. I'm so happy to be back in one of these cars and especially having this limited edition model, you're definitely not gonna see many on the road because there was only 300 made. The limited edition model is still the same amount of power, but as you saw before along the side of the car, it's got these really cool kind of go faster stripes. And I think we can all agree they add at least another 10 to 15 brake horsepower. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed hearing about my new brand ambassador partnership and of course seeing the new daily driver that I have to use over the next months. So I think I'm going to have a little blast on these back roads now on the way home and I shall see you all again very soon.